What is going on guys? Thank you for joining me back in another episode from Zero to Hero and we have a shock. I have said all along I am leaving England after what happened at Port Vale. But Corby, Corby Town, based in the Vanarama Conference North, have come to me. And they offered me a transfer budget of 45k and a wage budget of 4.7 to finish mid table now i think this is an offer i can't refuse their finances are set in the job security screen i will show you now their finances are set as secure now that is obviously better than okay so i'm really interested to see what the finances are um, and i think dropping down they were flattered by my interest so straight away i'm going to be a big fish in a small pond almost which is something fantastic i mean if you remember when i went to chester they said it was strange for me to drop down so going down even further it's a chance to rebuild my career because i applied for some jobs in the same league as eggerson are in now which is obviously the same league which will le left the second tier of norwegian football and they just laughed off my interest the bottom level of norwegian football they laughed off my interest it's been almost two months now without a job so corby have come in 13th of July, so obviously we've missed some free transfers, no doubt, but I think we're going to have to stay in England for one more crack at the English leagues and see what we can do. I'm going to drop this to the lowest possible, 120. Um, I'm going to ask for a two-year deal. Um, I don't want any reward for finishing, and percentage of compensation, 90 for managerial role, which gets them the most amount possible. I will be part-time, so I'm dropping down to a semi-professional club, but I think finances-wise, this is going to be interesting to see what Corby have. And if anything, it just gives me a chance to build up my reputation if I can get a mid-table top-half finish with Corby. Okay, so we've took over. Let's have a look around the club and get down to business. First off, wow, finances, 441k. We are projected to lose a fair amount, dropping 123k, but I'm going to try to get some fixtures, some friendlies arranged. There's not going to be a lot left, but we'll see what we can sort out. Um, and hopefully have a good run in the Cups. And we've actually got a full season here with Corby, hopefully. Um, under the squad, as you can see, they don't have kits, so I am going to get some kits made for them, ready for the next episode and start of the season. Half a star, local reputation. Um, and last season, they finished 22nd. They must have just survived relegation. Oh, no. Oh, they finished 22nd, sorry, in two years ago, and they've just come back up. This is their first season back up in this level. So let's have a look at the squad, see who we're going to be playing with. Um, I assume we don't have an assistant manager. We don't. We have no staff whatsoever at the minute. Um, so I can add some staff, some scouts, etc. We'll get them in as quick as we can. Small squad, but it looks decent enough. Let's have a look. George Bowerman, who I recognise from Akron and Stanley. Um, fairly decent. Should do a good job at this level. And um, we'll go through a couple more. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go from goalkeeper and just go through them because there's not that many. So my goalkeeper is fairly average, but he's been with us a couple of years. Um, and then we have an 18-year-old striker there who's got some average stats. Hopefully we can build him up. Danny Pilkington, um, midfield on the right, fairly average. But again, we can hopefully improve him. Grant Roberts, 30 years old. Hopefully he will do well for us. He looks a fairly young 30, doesn't he? Um, next one is Jordan Roberts, left winger. Again, fairly decent stats. Hopefully he'll do well for us. Tyron Smith is the next one. Again, fairly decent stats. He's a bit of pace, good physicals. Jake Atkins, um, average limited defender. Hopefully we can bring in some improvements in that position. Midfielder there, um, decent passing. The rest isn't the best, but again, hopefully we can improve him. Um, another striker there, fairly decent striking stats. And then we're back to George. Um, so, very small squad. Hopefully, a squad we can improve. Um, only a couple of players you'll see in the youth teams here. So, you'll see here Callum Moore's 28. And in the under 18s, is anyone in there? There's nobody. So, we do have a very small squad, guys. Um, first day at the club. We obviously see that we desperately need to improve the staff. So we expect a mid-table in the conference. The FA Cup, we expect to reach the fourth qualifying round. And Carlsberg Trophy, the first round. So it's going to be an interesting challenge, guys, isn't it? See what we can do with Corby. 
Um, what fixtures have they played? They've only played one against Soham and they got a 2-1 victory. So I'm going to try to get a few more fixtures in before the first game of the season when you will be back to watch us play Buxton at home, guys. So thank you for watching this episode. The latest stop in Zero to Hero. We have dropped down to the Van Ram Conference North to rebuild our reputation. I will see you shortly.